Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? It's your girl Twin D and thank you for stopping by my channel guys. Thank you for being here. Thanks to Almighty God for giving us the health and strength to be here today. One more day above ground. Thank you God for life. Thank you for friends. Thank you for family. Thank you for this camp. Thank you for everybody here. Thank you God. And guys, Let's jump into your message because I'm getting that there's some unfinished business here. So let's find out what's going on. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, guys, let's see what this unfinished business is all about. And guys, if you haven't purchased my book as yet, Are You a Twin Flame? Where you can discover if you are a twin flame or you're just dealing with a soulmate. So you're either you're just wasting your time or you are a twin flame and you got to go through the struggles. <laughs> so... If you haven't purchased my book as yet, it's there. You want to find out, are you the masculine or the feminine? It's there. Information is all there. Link to purchasing my book is in the description box below. Now let's see what this unfinished business is about. What's going on? What's this unfinished business? It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Let's see. What's this unfinished business, please? See? Same card, huh? The Seven of Swords. Somebody feels deceived. Somebody feels deceived and they are picking up their stuff and they're getting away from that deception. Someone's walking away from deception. Expect some, some communication here. Whomever this is that's walking away from the deception. They're heading towards someone. They're heading towards something that they had wanted to for a long time. But they can't believe that they allow themselves to be deceived. And they were, they left that thing behind. They left that thing behind and it's really troubling them. It's really troubling them, but let's see what else is going on here. What's going on, please? What is about this unfinished business, please? Four of Cups in the reverse. See, I told you they're returning to something that they had left in the past. Whomever this is had gotten an offer in the past and they refused it because of some deception that they were facing. In the back of their mind, it's like they knew the truth, but they were facing some sort of deception, which is why they could not accept this offer. But now they're coming back for that offer. Yep, they're coming in for a reunion. The High Priestess. See, figuring things out, going deep within. Finding the answers, finding the truth. Things were revealed. It's like this person has developed some sort of... Oh, what can I say? I don't know. But they can, they, can, they can see things now. They can see things. And they're realizing... The loss that they allow themselves to go through. 
because of flipping deception, which is not right. Totally not right. <laughs> They were deceived in a union here. Something that they were attached to. Someone they were attached to. Places they were attached to. But things are changing around this person. And they're seeing things more clearly. Again, they have developed some spiritual insight here. What else is going on here, please? What else can you tell us, please? Three big old major arcanas. One behind the other. Major changes. Major, major, major changes from in, inwards out. These divine masculines are creating their future. They're manifesting it. Whomever these divine masculines are, again, they're coming into some sort of powers. They're seeing things. They're manifesting their happiness. Because they weren't happy, they were deceived, and they, it's like they can't believe it because it's like, it's like a shock that came over them. Like, what was I doing? What was I doing? Like, I, I knew that person was for me. I, I knew that thing was for me. But I allowed people. I allowed this place. I allowed this thing to stop me from my happiness. They're just figuring things out. A shock. Waking up. See that? Now, these are my masculines. Have separated from whatever that four of wands was. That deception. They've separated themselves. Whatever it is, it was, it's broken now. It's, it, it's done. It's over. See that? They're moving away. And they can't do it fast enough. They cannot do it fast enough. They found out this deception here. Seven of swords. And now they're moving away. Six of swords. Because whatever this is, is broken. They're heading back towards their happiness. Wow. I, I just heard a masculine say, Oh my God, you asked me. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, these people really effed me. Holy. Yeah, there was some major deception here. But major deception, major changes are going to happen. Major changes are going to happen. Now it's time for these masculines to express their emotions to this person whom they truly want to express their emotion to or wanted to in the past. But kept their heart blocked off because they were deceived. The king of wands, seeing the bigger picture. Your masculine is using their head and their heart right about now. These masculines are using their head and their heart. Aligning themselves. See major changes, major changes. Wow, these people really effed me up. <laughs> the seven of wands, putting up that defense. But it has come to an end. It has come to an end, no more deceiving themselves. No more deceiving themselves. Nobody is going to deceive me any longer.
these divine masculines are having a spiritual awakening spiritual insight they can see things clearly now that's what happens when your third eye is open when you're connecting spiritually everything gets revealed because it's destiny and nobody can stop destiny now they're heading towards their abundance for a brand new beginning For a brand new beginning. Closing out a cycle. And when one cycle closes out. Then it's time for a new one to begin. Then it's time for a new one to begin. These masculines have become stable. They're abundant. And they were pretty tricky. In getting out of their situation. They had to use their head a lot. They had to use their head. But they made it out. They made it out. What is going on with this unfinished business? They made it out. Now it's time for their happiness. It's time to be happy, Divine Masculines. And here comes the counterpart to the King of Cups. They're heading back towards their Queen of Cups. Someone who has their heart in their hands. Someone they refuse in the past, not because they wanted to, but because of deception. The Knight of Swords in the reverse. There was no action. No action towards this Queen of Cups. No movement. Blocking off their heart. Living in torment. Having nightmares. That's what they put themselves through. And that's why they're so pissed off right now. Because they allow themselves to go through that struggle when they could have been in this energy all along. Yeah. They're returning. Clarity. They have gained clarity and they are returning here. They know that there's a strong connection between you and them, divine feminines. But they were just holding back. They were just trying to put that hard shell on. Like nothing's affecting them, they didn't care. But they're making plans taking control of their insecurities, taking control of their lives. And they're moving on. Or should I say moving back towards this person that made them feel so wonderful. It was shock that caused these divine masculines to even retreat, to go back to their deception because they couldn't be believe that whatever it is that these divine feminines were offering them was real. Like, too good to be true. Too good to be true. Because after all, what they were experiencing wasn't love. It was just deception. And they knew it. But then in the back of their mind, if this person is deceiving me, if these people are deceiving me, and they say that they love me. What is going to stop this person who is now coming to say that they love me from doing the same? Confirmation right there. So it was fear. It was fear that stopped them. 
Now let's see what this energy is about. See that? Fear. Conflict. Conflict. Conflict within them. Conflict with those around them. That's what was happening here. Conflict. Oh, see. My God. They have to be seeking professional advice. I told you they're separating. Most of them have already separated. Most of them have already separated. And they're seeking direction. They're asking for help. They're praying. Because they need some guidance on where to go. Angel of the four directions. They're seeking some guidance on which road to take. Where to go. If I go back to this person that I'm so in love with. Will it work out? Will they accept me? And I think you got your answer. Oh, yes, baby. Yes, it will definitely work out. Oh, yes, it will. <laughs> Kindred partnership. It will be beautiful, divine masculines. It will be beautiful. These divine masculines, when they come back, they'll be hiding their intentions. They'll be hiding their intentions for you. They know why they're coming back. They know what they want. They know what they're seeking. But they're going to hide it for a while. Because they have to make sure, once again, they have to make sure. This is what happens when you have fear inside. These negative thoughts, negative emotions, they keep coming back over and over and over. Because of experience, because of negative experiences. Again, I say Divine Feminines, you think that it's 10.10. 10. It's 10.10 10 a.m. You think that you're the only one who are going through hurt and pain. The reason these divine masculines ran in the first place is because they are also a victim of hurt and pain. And they're aware of this hurt and pain, this deception that they were facing. They knew you were the truth. They could feel it. They could see it. They knew it before you. They knew it before you did. But these negative thoughts popped up. What if it's the same thing? What if I move on and it's the same thing? So they had to go back to learn their lesson. To see that whether they are comfortable or not, they should not run from what's real. They should not run from their happiness. Because this is just something to keep them back, these negative thoughts. So they went back, learned their lesson. Figured out the truth. And now they're headed back. Stuck energy. You see that? That's what kept them stuck. Their thoughts. They were stuck in their thoughts. In their head. But now they're changing. Because what? It's destiny. They're completing that cycle. It's time for a change. It's time for a change. And it's going to lead to their happiness. It's going to lead to their happiness. It's going to lead to a time of celebration. There's going to be some celebration here when these divine masculines come back. Because as I said, they're keeping their intentions hidden. So they don't expose their true intentions for you. Because they're standing in their power. They have spiritual insight. Right now they're being strong. They're being brave. And they're heading towards their desires. 
and divine feminine that you can surely feel. They're taking the steps towards their happiness. You're taking the step towards building a better life, showing gratitude, being aware of the love that's around them. See that they're planning and they're going to be taking action. They're planning and taking action. See that? New supportive connections. So now they, they know the difference, I tell you. They can see the difference. That's why they were scared because they know this was different. But again, these negative thoughts, what if it turns out like the one I'm already in? What if it turns out to be the same as those people around me, those I know, those I thought that loved me? They know. And now it's time to return to this new supportive connection, being around the people that truly love them. Divine Masculines. Unfinished business, right? Unfinished business. They have to return. They have unfinished business. Their cycle is just being completed. And they're returning. Roman St. Giles, give me a message here in regards to this message, please. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Divine Feminines, that's you. You attract this romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. That's what's coming towards you. That's what's coming towards you. Yep, yep, yes. I don't lie, my friend, because God doesn't lie. God gives me his messages to give to you, and that's what I'm doing. Giving them to you. There's a lot of passion and desire here between you and your divine masculine. And they're coming in. They're coming in to make sure that things are settled between you and them, to make sure that they reconcile and sort things out and mend things, mend your broken heart. Because they didn't mean to break it. They didn't mean to break it. Let go of control issues, divine feminines. And I should say congratulations because if you haven't let go of these control issues, then your divine masculines would not have let go of the control issues either. And there you go, calling in your soulmate. Calling in your soulmate. Wow, very soon. There you go. I love it. Very soon. This card keeps coming out. Very soon. And trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Just trust. It's coming. Your divine masculines are making the effort to get back to you. And they're going to be mending this situation. No matter what it takes. They're going to be mending this situation. Let's get some messages here. Let's see what's going on. Give me some messages here. Let's see what else is going on, please. Not enough. See that? Moving on. Not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, issues, jealousy. It cannot satisfy them anymore, whatever situation they were in. It cannot satisfy them anymore because they know it's not, it's not true. It's not real. It's not true love. They're frustrated. They know they were deceived and they're moving away because they too deceived themselves. I like you. See, someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Flown flirting, wanting to date. They're coming back. They're coming back. Because that's where their heart is, with you. 
with you. Photograph. Looking at your photographs, missing you. Nostalgia. Making new memories. They have their plans. They have their plans. And look at this love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So I told you in the beginning that there's going to be communication here. Because they're going to let you know that they're coming back. This conversation is going to start right away as soon as they escape from where they are at. A lot of them have already moved on. They've already moved on. They have healed. They are healing. Self-indulgence. Focus on self. Self-worth. Time to heal. Shadow work. Self-appreciation. Because their divine masculines did not appreciate themselves in the past. That's why they, they allowed people to manipulate them. Because they were busy pleasing others over themselves. Because they think it's the right thing to do because these are masculines you're talking about. They don't know that they're masculines yet, but it's buried deep down inside. They take care of the people they love, they cherish moments, and they try not to deceive. And they put their all in the situations that they were involved in, whether it's a job, a relationship with family members, and they got nothing in return. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. That's a lot, guys. That's a lot. Okay, I'll take it. See that? Karmic relationship. The very first one. Fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So definitely, they're definitely moving on. No doubt about it. The phoenix, new phase. Oh yes, rising from the ashes. Kin, the renewed transformation growth. Change mind. And the Grim Reaper. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I told you. It's done. It's over. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. It's time for them to grow and transform. And where is that? Where is, where is, where, where is it? Oh, it was on the bottom. With the transformation. Self-work. Healing. They're over. It's done. It's over. And now it's time for love. For happiness. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. It's time for love. They're rising from the ashes, man. Let's go on a date, baby. This call. Expect this call, guys. Let's go on a date, baby. Let's go out. Let's start over. Your masculines are coming your way. Let's get some messages from the angels. Archangels, give me a message here in regards to this message. Support for your divine feminine and masculines, please. Matt, you see, I told you, I, I said the cards were, there were too many, but it told the whole story. <laughs> It told the whole story. That's why I got to listen. Do what God tells me to do. <laughs> Take them. <laughs> okay, give me a message, angels, please. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm done. I dropped my mic. I dropped my mic. I'm done. I am done. That's it. That's it. Divine order. Make your intentions clear, guys, because what you desire is coming towards you. It's coming towards you. And focus upon it with unwavering faith. Everything is in divine order. That's why nobody can stop it. Because it's divine order and it has to play out. Because it's divine order. It has to play out the way that it should. And it has. So now your divine masculines are on their way back to you because they have experienced their karma. And they have learned their lesson. They have learned how to treat you like a divine feminine. They have learned what to accept, what not to accept, just like you have. And if they're in this energy, that means you are already in this energy. Because you have to change first before your masculines can change. So if you're sitting there talking about you're waiting on the divine masculines to 
get out of his situation or to heal himself or whatever, then you're just wasting your time. Because if you don't change, your masculines will never change. And if you don't know how to do that, purchase my book. The link is in the description box below. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Love you all. Bye.